Greetings, Lunarians. Welcome to the Stellar Arcade. I am your host, Vagal Sonari, here with my very first Tales game. I have never played a Tales game in my life, and hopefully you guys are intrigued to see my very first experiences with one. There's a bunch of games that I've never played in my life. Shame on me, I know. But that list, by the way, will be in the description of every single video if you want to check out all of the games that I plan on putting on the channel that I have never played before. And yes, it is going to surprise you quite a bit. But anyways, let's start a new game. I'm ready. Here we go. Okay, what do we got? We got difficulty settings. We've got a whole bunch of different settings. So the difficulty here, what do we got? Moderate, hard, uh, normal is the easiest. No, 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 story is the easiest. I want to go probably moderate, I think. So I like a little bit of a challenge more than the normal gameplay. So let's go moderate for the first playthrough. Uh, input queuing time. Um, adjust the queuing time for button inputs when launching attack combos. Um, it's just long and short, eh? Uh, can I change these later? Because if I get pretty proficient, I think I can change it probably to short, but we'll keep it at long right here. I don't care for the vibration settings. We are not going to keep that on. So map orientation, fixed, relative. Um, I like the map fixed. I don't like it when it turns, when I turn the camera. So destination marker story, I'll keep those on. Subtitle display, yes, we will keep subtitles on for sure for the viewing pleasure. So camera controls, horizontal, these are all good. And I can change these later probably, I would say. So camera speed on battle and field, wonderful. All right, we're good, let's go. I'm excited, man. This is my very first Tales game. I've never, I, I've always wanted to play a Tales game. In ages long but past, I'll be quiet here. Believed so. that Mother Dana was indestructible and everlasting. Rena, on the other hand, was thought to be the domain of the gods, a paradise where the souls of the departed could rest forevermore. Oh, how wrong we were. In the face of Rena's unimaginable technology, its soldiers, clad in huge, shining armor, and its fearsome beasts, known as Zoogles. Zoogles! The prosperity and I love the name. Dana all but disappeared overnight. That was 300 years ago. The world of Dana fell under Renan rule and its new masters split the land into five distinct realms. And now today, Orbis Calaglia, one of the Renin's five realms. It is ruled over by the tyrant Balsef, Lord of the Firemaster Corps. Bang. Unrelenting fire scorches this barren wasteland. Dust storms course over the rocks and crags, and no relief is to be found from the oppressive heat. The Danon people toil as slaves. Day after day they suffer, under the ruthless oppression of the Renin soldiers, with only one hope of escape. Death. Death, yeah. This is brutal. Holy crap. Only in death is their agony finally brought to an end. They have forgotten what it means to be free. So complete is the Renin's domination. Whoa. Okay. That is quite the, uh, quite the morbid opening. My God. Okay. How the hell are you going to push that? You're so tiny. Hurry up! You Terrible. You that pushing? Put some back into it embedded! Mm -mm. Uh, 
Iron Mask? Why you? It didn't Slave. phase him? Huh. What is this? Some kind of slave support group? Mind your own business, you work All right, third squad! Time to regroup! <laughs> Go on, get moving! Can you not feel pain? Whoa, 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 no. Isn't that blood on him, though? Hey, wait for me! I don't think he can feel pain. Okay. Thank you, Iron Mask. That's okay, Cole. Are you hurt? No, I'm fine. Iron Mask, you... you're bleeding. Hmm? We need to get you looked at by Doc. That bad, huh? Better safe than sorry, I suppose. That would kind of suck, wouldn't it? To not feel pain, but like all of a sudden, you're dead. <laughs> I mean, two sides of a coin, I guess. Right. Okay, here we go. Your next destination is marked with the star symbol. The number is the distance to the destination. Got you. All right. So very typical of uh, distance walking there. I'm so sorry, Iron Mask. You got hurt because of me. Don't sweat it, kid. Not like I felt anything. So we can't feel pain. I was right. But that's why Doc tells you to be extra careful, doesn't he? Yeah, but at the end of the day, I chose to stick my neck out for you, and I don't regret a thing. So don't sweat it, Cole, okay? Okay. Thanks, Iron Mask. All right, down we go. Can we sprint? No I doubt Doc's gonna like what he sees. I think we're locked to just walking here. Move camera. Camera speed seems pretty good for me so far, but battle might be different. Ah, you again. Sorry to trouble you, Doc. Hmm. Look after yourself, and there'd be no need for sorries, would there? Now sit. So, still unable to remember anything, I take it? Blank as always. Nothing but that strange dream. No face, no memories. Unable to feel pain, yet only too eager to take on everybody else's. What will we do with you? Here, let me see. You may not be able to feel pain, but that doesn't mean you can't be wounded, just like everyone else. Clearly. If you're not more careful, you'll wind up dead without even realizing it one of these days. I watched another slave die today. More corpses than I care to count. Unfortunately, that's hardly a rare sight around these parts. Danons are always dying. And the Renans just watch. How long can this continue? Why doesn't anyone stand and fight? I'll do it. Keep your voice Give me a sword. Down, will you? <sighs> if only it were so simple, my friend. There have certainly been uprisings, all right. Three centuries worth of the damn things. As for all the good they've done, take a look around and judge for yourself. <sighs> there. That should just about do it. Now, do me a favor and try to stay out of trouble so the wound doesn't open again. Doc, back when I knew nothing, you were the one who taught me just how things work around here. You know I'll always be grateful for that, but I can't just... The race is won by the calm and the steady. You're still young, and you have time. Wait for the right moment, both for yourself and the world. Work will be wrapping up for the day soon enough. Don't sit around here. Go out and feel the breeze against your skin. Even a slave's entitled to that. Just do me a favor and keep a low profile, all right? You stand out enough in that mask as it is. I assume we're going to be revealing our face at some point. So imagine just being a faceless, Guess faceless hero the tomorrow. entire time. Are there any games that have faceless heroes as a protagonist? I wonder. Maybe like Warframe or something. Uh, so uh, I was going to comment though the um, the voice acting is actually surprising me. Uh, normally in like uh, English voice acting in the Japanese RPGs or animes, it's usually a little bit lackluster. But this one, so far so good. I like it a lot. Um, destination. Can I pull up a map? Like, ooh, gosh. Okay, so this is my main menu here. 
Uh, I'm not going to fiddle with this just yet. Um, I do want to know if I can pull up a full map. Is that possible? Um, open location map. It's square. Wonderful. Oh, this is nice. Okay. Can I rotate it? Ah, no need. Okay. Uh, let's see. Our destination is where? Do we just go to these green dots, I suppose? Life of a slave. Rest in your assigned bed. Let's just hit up the uh, dialogue here. So. Bright eyes stick these weird stones on our bodies and then work us to the bone until we're dead. And as if the routine beatings from them weren't enough. When they're in a really bad mood, they like to sick their zoogles on us. My voice acting, however, could use some work, right? <laughs> uh, we just go back and rest here. Try not to cause too much trouble out there. You already stand out plenty as it is wearing that mask of yours. Okay. These little white dots, though. Just, just like everyone regular else. NPCs. Got you. Okay. So I'm not going to waste too much time talking to the regular NPCs. But I do want to talk to the uh, green dots here. My star destination is in front, so. Change anything. We got here. No matter how tired you get of seeing them, you can always find Rena and Lenegus hanging up in the sky. I hate it. It's like they're watching over us, keeping an eye on our every move. And Lenegus especially is something else. There's no way we can ever hope to beat the Renans when they can build floating castles like that. Floating castles? Oh man. That's a callback to uh, Legend of Ligaya, one of my faves, man. Any Ligaya fans out there remember the floating castle? Listen, whatever the bastards do to you, don't even think about trying to fight back against them bright eyes, got it? I know, I know. Not like any of us have a chance in hell of ever beating one of those soldiers or their zoogles, let alone Lord Balsaf. Shh, don't talk about this in public, you two. Who knows what they'll do if they hear you guys. I gave that woman a very, very deep voice. You like it? I think it'll grow on you. So. I should get some rest. Maybe she'll return. So. Here, let's rest. I want to get into some combat. People have slept in this bed before me. Mine for now, but for how long? I'm definitely enjoying the story so far. But, uh... Tomorrow's another yeah. day. I'm ready to fight for sure. Get some shut -eye. <clears throat> Hoping the um, tutorials aren't like crazy long in the beginning, but we'll see. I'd I'm not going to be picky or complain. So. So I've got business with the freight train today, huh? Great. Can we sprint. We can. Okay, Great. so. Time to start another day toiling away for the Renans. Am I going to do this until the day I die? I assume that uh, there's nothing to grab around here. Um. Because it seems like very barren, and I'm not being pointed to any like chests or anything like that. I don't even know what they look like at the moment. So, shiny objects or other actual chests? Not, not a clue. Look lively, slaves. Let's see some work around here. That's a very huge cargo load, my guy. Ooh, we have an anime cutscene. What the hell is that thing pulling that? Mm. Super quick. No. Oh, shit. Damn, an ambush. Okay. Grenar! She's here! Oh, damn! What the hell, man? What I'm saying. That's what you get for rubbing your feet across carpet way too much. Just saying. Come back.
Brave girl. Okay. Water? No water? Okay. I hope she lives. <laughs> My goodness. Electricity, though. Something's up with that. It's nowhere to be found. This hurts. Hey, Bennett, did you find anything? Not yet, sir. What do they expect from us on such short notice? <laughs> She lives. Hey, you're... First waifu? Yes. Over there! Don't move! Go now! Huh? Hurry, get moving! Stay still! You cost us a lot of trouble, you know. Now we can do this the easy way, or not. <laughs> Oh, do I get to fight with a wooden pipe? Wooden pipe. Steel pipe. Ooh, the moves. Okay, okay. Holy crap. I wish I could move like that. That'd be dope. Ooh. This guy's name is Zephyr? Punchy guy? Damn. Alright. I'm digging this guy so far. What a Chad. My god. I'm gonna say, bad idea. Bad idea. The scenes in this game is they're crazy. <laughs> I did not expect this. This is crazy. The scenes are epic. I'm 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 in it. I'm in it. Let's go. You all missed your chance. Oh, Balsif. Balsack. Live and die for me, the mighty Balsaf. Got that through your skulls? Now hurry up and bring me Shion. Yes, yes, sir. Shion? That's the girl? Hmm. Even the drinks lost its appeal. Someone's in a bad mood. Lord Wolsey, ruler of Orbis Calaglia. Ah, but it's wild beast you prefer, isn't it? Do forgive me. Ganabelt Valkyris, what do you want? From what I hear, you seem to be having some trouble over there in Calaglia. As a fellow lord, I merely thought to ask whether I could be of any assistance to you. Enough with the false pretense. I can tell a rat when it's sniffing around. Forgive me, I can only imagine the emotional toll failing to ascend the throne not once but twice must take. A most distressing state of affairs. Shut up! It's none of your concern. The crown contest is proceeding apace, and so quickly, I must say. It won't be long before the victor is crowned as the new sovereign. I look forward to it, and you can be sure I won't forget our little chat. Nor will I. Until next time. This dude's face is driving me crazy. All right, <clears throat> get mad, break glass. Understood. What's next? Um. 
Alfin. Is that me? Is that my name? Where? You awake? Who are you? The name's Tilsa. I'm the medical officer for the Crimson Crows. You were in one of our safe houses. Crimson Crows? Don't tell me you've never heard of us. We're the Resistance, for the Danon people. We get in the way of the Bright Eyes' best laid plans. The Danon Resistance? I didn't know such a thing existed. Oh, we exist all right. Though I guess we're not as famous as I thought we were. Seems like I know more about you than the other way around, Mr. Iron Mask. Is it true you can't take that thing off? Yeah. Worse is that I don't even know why I'm wearing it. How do you see? That woman I was with. Oh, yeah. She's quite the character, isn't she? Zephyr should be interrogating her over in the slammer as we speak. You locked her up? Why? Why? Go take a look for yourself if you're so interested. How can you lock her up if touching her means like they're interrogating her? Almost the instant death. On? I don't know if that one guy died for myself. when he touched her in the train or the soldier died. If you want to know something? I'll tell you what I can. What is this place? Uh, who's Zephyr? Zephyr is the Crimson Crow's leader. He's not just physically strong. He's got real smarts. He's indispensable to us. If you want to know something? I'll tell you what I can. Oh, it, uh, Keeps what we already did. So, what's this place? This is the old Zion Mine. Zion Mine, one of the Crimson Crow safe houses. Abandoned mines like this one are pretty commonplace, so we have no shortage of places to hide out. If you want to know something? Blah, blah, blah. What are the Crimson Crows? I told you we're a resistance group fighting the Bright Eyes. Our goal is to liberate Calaglia from Rena. So injuries are a constant thing for us. It's distressing work for me as a medic. If you want to know something? I keep reading that. Where is the woman? <laughs> Where is the woman? <laughs> the jail's up ahead. Zephyr's interrogating her now. You can check it out if you're curious, but I wouldn't disrupt the interrogation if I were you. Who are you fighting? Who else? The Renans ruling over Calaglia. The ones that came down from Lenegas have been giving us hell for the last three centuries. Of course, we can't even reach neighboring towns, much less Lenegas. So our current target is the Renans in Calaglia and their Lord Balseth. I'm good. All right. Now I think I want to try to do a little bit of exploring because I really haven't controlled the character very much at all. Um, so as far as like, wait, wait, no, no, it's square. It's square. I keep wanting to hit start for, for the map. Uh, yeah, let's do a little exploring real quick. So because I want to see if I can grab any uh, items if possible. Um, if it doesn't seem to turn up after a few ex exploration tries, then I'll just continue the story. But it seems like that's the case. You'd think there'd be something back here. Okay, we're good there. Oh. Nope. I see a shiny. I go I go towards it, so that's that's kind of the logic, isn't it? So sorry. Can we uh do any actions while we're uh, running around like this? We can jump with circle. Okay. Any shoulder button work. L2 lets us see the objective. Okay. Good to know. Any D-pad um thingies? Oh my gosh, D-pad does a whole bunch of stuff. Activity records. Okay, so this just keeps uh, our quest log. I see. Um, down does what? Basic controls. We have some tutorials right here. Okay. Uh, right D-pad does nothing so far. Up D-pad does nothing. Okay, so give me some time. I'll get used to it. So, yeah. See, how, how did they capture her? Ah, damn it! So it wasn't a lie. The slightest touch is like being struck by lightning. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? So you're finally awake, huh? What's going on here? What did she ever? Mind your business. So even if you don't mean to hurt somebody, if they touch you, they get electrocuted, huh? Like Blanca. It doesn't seem fighter. to be poison or magic. Is this the reason Balsef's soldiers were after you? <laughs> For the last several days, Balsef's forces have been getting pretty restless. When we looked into it deeper, the word thorns came up over and over again. And now, we come across Miss Prickly herself. Hmm. Hmm. Drop the attitude. The 
Did you really think we wouldn't find out anything about you? Miss Shion Imeris? Imeris. <laughs> That's her name? Jeez. What? You didn't figure it out already? Yeah, that's right. This lady's got herself a surname, which means one thing. She's a Renan, our enemy. Yeah, but she was being chased by Renan soldiers. So then why? That's exactly what we're trying to figure out. After all, aside from the clothes they wear, there's only one way to tell a Danon from a Renan, and that's whether their eyes light up or not. Ain't that right, bright eyes? Hmm. Big talk for someone who can't even use astral arts. Embedded. Oh no, shit! Us. I have no idea what they're talking about. Look, astral the arts. Are people embedded in me. And there isn't one, because we gouged them out the day we swore to rise up against your kind. Hmm. The scars are a reminder, not to rest until every last Faith. one of you is. <sighs> we Danans may not be capable of using astral arts, but it looks like those thorns of yours won't do you much good in escaping here either. Still, inflicting pain on anyone who comes near you. That's one hell of an ability. You're wrong. You think this curse is some kind of great ability? Don't piss her off, man. No. Curse. Fair enough. All I know is Balsef must have his eye on you for a damn good reason. And until we find out why... <laughs> An ambush! They must have tracked us down. Evacuate his plan. Hurry! And bring the girl. If she gives you any trouble, wave a spear in her face. I got it. Hey, Iron Mask! Sorry, but right now it's everyone for themselves. What about you? I have a sword. To welcome our guests. Don't go dying on me. Come on, move. And don't try anything funny. Hell yeah. I want to fight. Let's go. I have a sword! Can I actually wield it like uh, outside of combat? I uh, probably not. So, dull sword, lovely. A rusted long sword with a blade badly needed for pair. Fighting with it is more like using a blunt weapon rather than a bladed one. Right. Okay. I probably can't unsheath it at the moment, but. Redans are here. I have to find an exit and get the hell out of here. Okay. Intense music means run. Damn. That's what we're doing. How did they find out about this place? Have these kinds of battles been going on this entire time? I just didn't know. Oh, looks well, like I don't have stamina either, which is oh, good. Right there. Oh, it's just a Denon. You there? Where's Let's go. the Renan girl who was here? Well, I'm. Spit it out! I want an answer, insurgent! How's this for an answer? Go to hell! You dare address a Renan armored soldier that way! I'll show you Level 6. Calaglia Armored Swordsman. Okay, here we go. I'm ready. Okay, the music's pumping. R press R1 to perform a normal... R1? Okay, that's interesting. At first, you can string up to three normal attacks together, but by learning certain skills, this limit can be increased. Characters can also attack in mid-air after jumping. Jumping is circle, I assume, still, in combat. Arts are special actions performed by spinning part of your AG... Uh, arts gauge. Press square, triangle, or X to use the art assigned for each button. While AG will gradually restore automatically, it will restore more slowly when attacking. Okay, so passively uh, waiting around or probably running away. Can we block though? Um, push L uh, and press R2 to evade an enemy attack. Oh, I see. Okay, so any direction and then press R2 to evade. If you time it well as an enemy... Here we go. This, this is what I like. I like to uh, be very precise and time things really well. Um, I love to parry, I love to evade. Okay, let's go. So, uh, you'll perform a perfect evasion, allowing you to avoid any damage. Okay. I used the patterns first, though. Oh boy. So much for playing nice. All right, we're up. Oh, yeah, this is gonna take some time. I have to do this. I won't go quietly. Oh, I forgot. It's R1. I, I was mashing square the entire time. Let me hold R1. Swallow Blade. Rising Wyvern. 
I know for a fact that Tails Games characters spit out their name, the, their uh, move names all the time. So I'm sure we'll. Uh, I'm sure that won't get old. <laughs> I love it though. It don't matter to me. So. So. Okay. Just run towards the destination. It doesn't seem like I can like uh, search for any items at the moment. Yeah, there's like nothing in these corners uh, where you expect them to be. Wait, hang on. Our first item. An apple gel. Is this healing? 400 HP to one ally. Wonderful. Do we heal outside of battle? Um, what's the menu again? Is it... Okay, it's the pad. Alright, so... Gear. Probably just a dull sword. Um, no accessories, obviously. Um, hmm. I don't see my HP anywhere. Uh, I guess we do heal outside of battle? Can we do a print of a strike at all? Okay, that's easy to evade. Oh gosh, I'm locked onto the wolf target. Hold up. Oh, the rising wyvern combo. I found one. Hello. Let's go. Okay, the combo attacks are a little strange. There's a pervert evasion. Nice. Okay. This doggo has a ton of HP. What the hell, man? How do I change targets? Oh, push uh, L1. It's on the top left. I'm dumb. So sometimes it doesn't throw them up in the air. I wonder why. Maybe when they're prepping the attack, you can't do that. I can interrupt it. No way! That's awesome. That's awesome. Combo attacks all day, baby. Let's go. Oh my god. <laughs> nice. I don't know if I'm missing it, but I'm not seeing like health bars yet. Uh, it's probably just giving me the tutorials and giving me infinite life right now, which is fine. So. Xion V. Mare, I Maris Daymore. I hear Two more names V. Mare Daymore. Excellency Lord Damn it. Throw down I was your so weapon. close. She has a gun? No pain, baby. You got some kind of death wish? Those are armored soldiers, you're- Shut up and get out of here while you still can! Step aside, slave. These are Renan affairs you're meddling in. Hey! We've got a better chance working together. Besides, I don't much feel like being indebted to a Danon. Fine, suit yourself. Yeah, let's work together. Let's go. Okay, combos. Here we go. Combos are actions shrugged together with no gaps. Normal attacks have a set limit, while arts can continue until AG runs out. Normal attacks count separately on the ground and in the air. Using an art to go between them can thus extend a combo. Okay. During a combo, if the same art is used multiple times within four actions, its penetration will decrease and enemies will recover from it sooner. Continually doing so will raise these penalties, making arts half as effective as the at their harshest. So if you so this is making you not spam arts, is that what I'm saying? What what I'm reading here? So, okay. Four actions, huh? That's interesting. Okay. So encouraging you to do more combo attacks in the air, um, and on the ground, and then just like pop arts. So but I assume it's with the same character though, right? Word to the wise, I call my own shot. Just stay out of my Crap. way and we'll get along quite well. Kinda new for me if you had noticed. Don't expect any promises. I evaded. I evaded. No way. Oh my gosh. I'll get used to it. Give me some time. Ooh, a break. Nice. There we go. Can we do the com the uh, arts in the air? 
and try that next time. Why did you help me? What could a Danon like you possibly gain from helping a Renan like me? Comic book strip style. That's pretty Trust cool. Me. I've no great love for Renans. I guess I'm just not as consumed with hatred as some. What? Have we met somewhere before? Me? Friends with a Danon? Can't say I've had the pleasure. Well, when you put it like that, yeah, silly question. I don't remember anything about my past. I don't have any clues to go on either. Not even my own face. Let me get this straight. You don't know what you look like, but you thought I might somehow recognize you? <laughs> Something like that. Guess my helping you back there wasn't as self-sacrificing as I made it out to be. Besides, I can't feel pain anyway. So it's not like... Wait, you really can't feel pain? Uh, yeah. It's just another thing I don't have. No pain, no face, no memories. I only know one thing about myself, and that's that I'm a slave. Oof. What about your name? You must have one, right? Iron Mask. Got the name from the person who found me. Said that this way, I wouldn't forget I had a real name out there somewhere. I see. So where to next? Pretty sure I know what his I'm name so is. Silly. Probably Alfin, right? All this way for? I'm sure we'll find out later. So stay sharp. We're going in. Did my controller stop working? Hello. There we go. <laughs> okay. When the indicator appears in the bottom right corner of the screen, you can press. Oh my gosh. Press R1 to do what now? Can you even see out of that thing? Like at oh, all? extra scenes. Of course I can. How else do you think I managed to avoid tripping everywhere I go? What is that thing anyway? It doesn't look like anything Dan and I've ever seen. Beats me. I don't remember anything about my past. When I came to, I was already wearing it. If I could get it off, I would. Damn thing makes it hard to eat. I can't scratch my face when it itches. It's the worst. Honestly, I'm just impressed you've managed to survive this long looking like that. I'm sure you attract attention wherever you go. Most of the other Danons don't pay it any mind. It's in everyone's best interest to just keep their heads down, focus on their work, and pretend they don't notice. What about the Renan soldiers? Didn't they notice? The guards? They're more the kill first, ask questions later type. Be in the wrong place or step out of line and you're dead. Mask or no mask. That said, as long as you keep your head down and don't cause trouble, they mostly ignore you. Honestly, sometimes they don't look all that keen to stir up trouble themselves. A friend of mine said it's because if they kill us without a good reason, it could delay the work and put them behind schedule. At that point, It'd be their necks on the line. You should know more about all that than me, though, right? I don't serve any of the lords. But I see what you mean. After three centuries of run and rule without much upheaval, it's possible the soldiers might be losing their edge. All this trouble we've caused might be the first excitement they've had in a while. Well, I don't plan on getting killed for their amusement. Okay. At some point, we're going to have to do some menu diving. Figure out our way around there, but... Glad to see you made it. I heard you managed to escape, but I didn't expect to see old Iron Mask with you. In any case, we're all wanted by the Renans. It'll be easier for everyone if you both just come with me. Where are the others? They're waiting for us up ahead. Come on. Draft up. Game over. Stay where you are, dissidents. That was a short Let's Play series. Just look at all these soldiers. How badly did they want to destroy this hideout? <laughs> Apprehend the traitor. Slaughter the rest. Yeah. Ooh. Look out! <laughs> Oh shit. Sion! Okay. Oh, 
Face reveal. What the hell is happening here? I also have questions. Impossible. The Master Core. He was embedded within her all along. No matter. Kill her if you have to. Just retrieve the core. Master! <laughs> Please let me fight with this thing. <laughs> Oh, dope. Okay. Mm -mm. You burn slaves to ashes, man. Karma, baby. There we go. I like that. That was dope. You feel pain now? Question mark. Are you okay? Oh my god, your arms, dude. Mm -hmm. <laughs> your arm. Yeah. How about that? Guess it's just as well I can't feel it, huh? You're not in agony? Wait, are you serious? Hold still. Huh? It's one of my healing arts. A sword that sears the hand of he who wields it, and a healing art to mend. A man numb to pain, and a woman whose very touch deals nothing but. Thank you. <sighs> All right. Let's rout the bastards and finish them off before the surviving stragglers have a chance to regroup. Iron Mask, you coming? Definitely. I'm not about to go back all that way alone. So I guess you're not planning on releasing me, huh? Sorry. You're coming with us. In that case, there's one thing you should know. No one uses that flaming sword without my say-so. You needn't worry on that score. I doubt many of us could get close to it in the first place, or would want to. No idea what to make of that. Sword. It just might be strong enough to match the power of a lord. No, maybe even to surpass it. Are you sure you're okay? Uh, what do you mean? Your wound. That soldier nailed you pretty good, not to mention those flames bursting from you. They only hit my master core, so I'll be fine. And the flames weren't even hot. It's probably because they're just a manifestation of the astral energy. Honestly, I'm more surprised that you really are incapable of feeling pain. Did you think I was faking? No, I believed you. I guess seeing you stay calm while bearing those burns to your hands just really made it hit home for me. It's ironic. I have no problem hurting anyone who touches me. But as soon as I try to wield that sword, it's me who gets hurt. Do you wish you were impervious to pain too? You realize you could burn your fingers off without even noticing, right? So what? All I need right now is power. And up until now, I haven't come across anything stronger than that blazing sword the whole time I've been doing this. You really don't care what happens to you as long as you get what you're after, do you? Don't talk like you know me. Uh. <sighs> you... <sighs> you're right. I don't get you. I don't get why you're so quick to throw it all away. Not when us slaves have never had a choice in whether we lived or died. <sighs> oh boy. You befriended Shion? I'm not sure about that. I think we're still on opposite ends of the spectrum at the moment. Zephyr has teamed up with your party. Hell yeah. Okay. Oh, we get to do, have new characters here. All right, let's go. Xion's fighting style. Uh, specializes in gun-based long-range strikes and astral arts. Use her to hit enemies from a safe distance. 
and to use healing arts on allies with low HP. Healing arts cost CP to use, so mind your CP total. Uh, when auto mode is enabled, uh oh, Xion will primarily target flying and astral art wielding enemies, as well as foes with lower HP during combat. I see. Okay. I'll probably have the auto on for just a little bit, but I do want to learn how to play um, without the auto first, so I'll keep it off for now. Um, arts when with healing and support effects consume cure points in addition to AG. Cure points is shared across the party and can be restored with items or by staying at an inner campground. It can be raised by leveling up or finding specific items. Got you. Okay. Can we look at any of this right now? Okay, so now we're finally seeing some HP and uh, some MP or whatever. Party formation. You can change each char which characters fight in combat as well as who you wish to control. Their position determines what to press to trigger their boost attack. Press L1 or R1 during combat to change who you control. So this looks like D-pad stuff right here where you can hit up, down, left, or right. So um, the position determines what to press to trigger their boost attack. I haven't learned about boost attacks yet. Um, changing battle controls. Um, Semi-auto automatically moves around until in attack range. Manual full character control. Auto fights based on set strategy. Hmm. I, I like the semi-auto uh, for now, I think, but if it's just like completely manual, then uh, you only control one character at a time, right? So, hmm, I don't know. Let's, let's explore a little bit here. So, and Zephyr joined our party, didn't he? Um, apparently not. Okay. Oh, I see in the top right. So, whoever you're not controlling. No, that can't be right. I'll keep it to semi-auto for now. And then if we want to control certain characters, we have to go into here and change the leader. Can I run around as her on the out on the outside? I can't. Okay, that's fine. Um, I want to keep Alfin. Well, I assume it's Alfin um, as the leader. Okay. Anywhere else to go besides that menu there? Uh, status. Okay, good to know. Arts. Let's see. You can assign arts that you've learned to each of the different buttons. You can set three arts to use while on the ground, plus an additional three arts to use in the air for a total of six equivalent arts. That's dope. Okay. L2 or R2 to inspect the arts you have available. Characters that are set to auto can use all of their arts, but you can press square to uncheck arts you wish for them to avoid. You can also cast healing arts from this screen as well. Interesting. Yeah, so the HP does not uh, heal outside of battle, so that tells me all I need to know there. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. We only have three arts here, but I don't have Mirage equipped. An attack that strikes straight below while does... Oh no, I do have this equipped, so if I go up in the air, we'll be able to use that, so hang on. Um. Yeah, so if I'm in the air and hit any of these buttons, it'll cast Mirage. I get it. Okay, wonderful. So, she's also got three. Um... That heals KO. That heals KO for one ally. Wonderful. Uh, Magna Ray. She doesn't have air abilities though, right? See, she, she, I think she's just limited to the ground. I think. I keep doing that. <laughs> Menu diving. Give me a moment. Uh, so yeah, we don't need to set anything in particular. Okay. Wonderful. Strategy. Strategies determine how your party operates in combat. On the strategy screen, press press triangle, don't know my shapes, to view details about each strategy and adjust them. Up to four strategies can be saved. During battles, open the menu and press triangle to switch between them. Okay. Party members fight autonomously, but their use of recovery slash support arts and items are determined by your strategy. The detailed settings screen, you can set how they act and vary. This is gamuts. Okay. Gamuts. I love Final Fantasy XII. Yes, let's do gamuts today. I'm ready. Um, you can set how they act in various conditions with the top action receiving the highest priority. It is gamuts. Wow, just like it. Items can only be used on the character that you currently control. Uh, to do so, open the menu and select an item, except for items that revive them from KO. Your control character will never use items automatically without permission. Okay. So I have to. So in battle, if I want to use an item on a specific character, I have to move to them or control them and then use the item in that way. I think is what they're telling me here can only be used on the character that you currently control. I see. Okay. Um, wonderful. Um, so this strategy, it applies to everybody, right? Okay. Hang on. 
Fight with moderation. What's this say? Use healing and support arts when fighting. Restore HP with items when low on CP. Focus on healing. Um, fight aggressively. Use support arts to fight. Use healing arts when in danger. Restore HP with items when low on CP. Uh, don't spend CP on anything in battle except when removing KO status. So that gives me the freedom to use the CP as I see fit. I kind of do like that. Uh, do we like... We change it like based on this. Okay, I understand, I understand. So, um, set default tactics. <sighs> the default tactics, they want us to do moderation, but yeah, that's fine with me. But uh, if it's from top to bottom though, wouldn't they always be doing this right here? Change tactics detail. <gasps> oh, here's the gamuts. Oh my God. Yes, the gamuts are right here. Oh, good Lord. Um. <laughs> Okay, this is gonna take me a minute to get it in my head around, so but I'm an OG FF12 uh veteran, so I should be able to be pretty quick with this. So on the top it says anyone KO'd, recovery on KO, healing arts 50% or less, own HP, apple gels being used on own HP or less. Right, because if you're controlling the character, that makes sense. Um have at least five. So that makes sure we don't run out of apple gels. That's genius. I don't need to set need to set gambits here. Like, uh, they've, they've done it all for me. So, but I do want to see some of the uh, options here. Oh my god. it's a lot. Once only, once per member. Okay, understood. First aid. I mean, using the apple gels on own HP while uh, controlling is fine. Anyone afflicted with ailment? Yeah, this is perfectly okay. We can add new actions. Are you serious? That's freaking amazing. Um... What about skills, though? Like, uh, can you equip skills to these? Hang on. Um, own HP less than 100%, I suppose. Healing arts, ailment, apple gel. Okay, so you can't use the attacking arts here. They want you to be active with that, which is understandable. I totally, I totally get that. So, how do we clear? Um, delete action. There we go. Okay. I'm fine for now. So, this is, this applies to everybody that is not being controlled manually by the player. That makes sense. Um, yeah, that's fine. Okay, yeah, we'll keep it as is. All right. Um, I'm not ready to explore anything else. I want to move on with the story, okay? Because we are going to do about like an hour a piece and we are almost at that hour. So <clears throat> let's move on. I'll get used to the combat. It's a little clunky at the moment, but uh, you cannot button mash whatsoever. I have to get used to that. So. Which is fine. I like to time stuff. Music's already really good too, by the way. So I've actually listened to the the entire soundtrack uh, from a streamer friend of mine who put me onto it. Orbis Calaglia. Are you sure we're not actually in hell? <laughs> it looks like hell. So, Glanamede Castle. Is that you, Strong Satan? <laughs> Self-imposed ruler of all Calaglia. I've never seen it from this close before. That's it, all right. We're next to it are the Gates of Fire. Take a good long look while you still can. That wall is what we've come to tear down. The only thing standing between us and freedom. Freedom. Let's go. All right. <clears throat> Any items to grab while we're around here? Be careful. If you get close to a Zoogle, they'll attack. Well, we don't have a choice, so we're going to attack anyways. Can we, can we do a preemptive strike at all? Apparently not, so. Changing controls during combat, oh boy. Press the options wall in the menu to change your character's control mode. Semi-auto, oh, it's that, okay. Um, no, 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 I'm, I'm okay with the semi-auto for right now. For players who only wish to casually dabble in comp, I wanna casually dabble though. Meanwhile, manual mode is for those seeking full control while auto mode lets the game take reins. 
I'm never going to do auto mode. Semi-auto seems okay where it's just attacking normally and I just use their skills accordingly, I suppose. Um, Oh god, what did L1 do? Oh, L1 locks, uh... L1 changes targets, right, 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 right. Oh god, I'm dying. <laughs> okay. Did I overstep? Okay. Sucking it up a little bit right now. I'm getting used to it. I hope I get a chance to, like, uh... Fight random enemies off stream. Off stream, listen to me. Off screen. And then uh, get some practice in. Don't fight right now, I'm the total noob. So, avoid, all right? Makes sense. If we try to take them all on, there'll be no end in sight. You sure won't hear me complaining. Yeah, I'm gonna stay away from you for now. <laughs> I don't think I want to take you on. So, I will take their advice for sure. But there's a chest down there, though. Oh no! Can I fall? Oh God! Hang on. Let me sneak. Let me sneak. I want this chest. Open says me. Life bottle. Feels KO. Wonderful. Seems you found something good. Supplies like that are valuable. Never overlook them. Got it. I'll remember that. Scenic route. <laughs> that was good. If I miss any items, let's stop I'm letting it happen. So. Breath. But I barely worked up a sweat. Speak for yourself. What do you want? A medal? Doesn't look like we're being followed. Fail to grab these rare moments of quiet when you can. You'll end up regretting it later. You're the boss. Looks like we got our first campfire. So we can uh, probably save here. Nice. Uh, restore your product to HP and CP. While resting, you can watch skits and cutscenes that you've previously viewed. Really? Normally, Pretty cool. we should take turns standing guard. But this first time, I'll watch over things so you two can rest easy. So downloadable content. I bought the Ultimate Edition. What is this? Unclaimed DLC items. Oh my good god. Um, I'm doing this off screen. <laughs> I do have... Oh, beach time. Hello. Uh, I do have the Ultimate uh, Edition uh, when it went on sale. I got a stupid great deal with it. But uh, yeah, I'll claim these off stream. Off screen. My god. It's gonna happen every time. Uh, but for right now, for right now, I do want to rest. But can we save our game though? Can we save our game on the system right here? We can't save at a campfire site. That seems unlikely. You realize there are still Zoogles prowling around out here, right? Ah, uh, don't be a spoil sport. It's important to let your mind and spirit relax. Hmm. Does you a lot more good. Oh, than you got you. The anime skits can be reviewed, reviewed again. Very cool. I like that. All right, we'll rest here. As soon as I can save my game, we'll call Master it an episode Cobra, here. Huh? Now I see. So that's why Balsef's cronies were so desperate to catch her. Is that what it's called? The jewel in her chest? Oh, right. You don't remember a damn thing, do you? Ah, fair enough. I guess it's time to fill you back in. Tell me, you ever wonder why we Danans are made to work ourselves to the bone, day in, day out? Well, when you put it like that, I always just assumed we were mining resources for them. And don't you think it'd be quicker if they used all that high-powered tech they have? Why go to all the trouble of relying on weak human labor? Listen, what the Renans are really after isn't resources or minerals. It's astral energy. Hmm. They're harvesting the astral energy that sleeps inside all matter in life forms. And they're doing it the same way they have for the past 300 years, using us Danans as mere siphons. Right. They have machines for minerals, but extracting from Danans requires spirit cores. Any astral energy collected passes through a spirit vessel on its way to being stored in a master core. 
But why go to the trouble of collecting all this energy in the first place? Do they really need all that juice just to use astral arts? It determines the Sovereign. Sovereign? Is that the Renan ruler? Exactly. Five lords, each doing whatever it takes to gather as much astral energy as they can and store it in their master cores. Whichever of them manages to accumulate the most power at the end of their contest is crowned the ruler of the Renan motherland. A new crown contest, as they call it, is held every decade or so. So you see, the master cores are the receptacles in which the lords store their power. And we Danans are sacrificed, so the Renans can choose their new ruler. That's insane! You're telling me that's what our people have been dying for this whole time? Relax, hero. You're not the only one who's bent out of shape about the whole thing. There are two things that I haven't been able to get my head around yet. What business would a Renan have stealing a Master Corps? And what's the deal with that blazing sword? I think the sword is a physical manifestation of the Master Corps' astral energy. As for why it took the shape of a sword, well, I don't know any more than you do. Honest. And that stuff about needing your permission to use it? What was that about? I'm the only one of us who can control the Master Core to some extent. Without me to adjust the flow of astral energy, the sword can't take a physical form. What do you want out of this? You may be one of them, but you don't strike me as the ruthless oppressor type. I'm going to take down all of the Lords. Never thought I'd say this, but I like the cut of your jib, Renan. <laughs> Very well. As far as we're concerned, the struggle continues either way. And with that sword on our side, our chances of victory just increased. That is, of course, assuming we can count the two of you in. Fine by me. After all, it sounds like we're after the same thing anyway. I... Honestly, I'm still a little confused by all this. But if it's a choice between this or going back to being a slave, then I choose to fight. Then it's settled. Together we'll overthrow the Renan Lords. And first up on that chopping block is Balsef, <laughs> the wild beast. Sound good? Sure. His face is annoying anyway. <laughs> Let's take him down. Okay, I know this auto saves, but uh, maybe I can manual save here in a minute. What is this nonsense? I've got to hurry. Okay, now even more questions are appearing. Okay, we are restored. Um, am I able to save manually? Another secret hideout in Ulzebek, not far from here. We should be able to meet up with our comrades there. We do have reminiscing right there. However, I do want to see if I have the ability. One sec. I do. Okay, so we are going to call that the first episode. We didn't get a lot of combat in. I still suck at it at the moment, but I'm still learning. And uh, we'll definitely... Try to master it as best as we can going forward but uh so far i'm loving the game the animations are incredible the music is incredible the characters are doing a great job on the voice acting i have no issues with that so far um and the combat right now is a little clunky for me but i'll get the hang of it so so thank you all ever so much for joining me for my very first episode of tales of arise my very first tales of game entirely and going forward i definitely plan to play almost every single one of them, or those are that I have access to, because I haven't touched a single one. And if you want to check out the games that I have never played before in my life, you can check out my I've Never Played list in the description below, and let me know what you want to see me play next going forward. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more episodes, and I will see you in the next video. I am your host, Vagos Lunari. Farewell, Lunarians. Peace. Bye.